Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this video, a very warm welcome to another video of mine. Well, today I'm going to talk about the lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse is going to take place on the 5th and 6th of May 2023. You know, theoretically speaking, when the earth comes in between sun and the moon and the moon moves into the shadow of the earth, a lunar eclipse takes place. So on the 5th and 6th of May 2023, a lunar eclipse is gonna take place. And at this point in time, your mind is gonna get affected. Your emotions are gonna get affected. And during the lunar eclipse this time, and seeing the planetary positions, I wanna tell y'all that during this time, you are gonna be in a state of hysteria. You are going to have uncontrolled excitement and emotions at this point in time. During this time, you would sound illogical, impractical and unrealistic during this time. I mean due to the hysteria that would be created by the lunar eclipse. If you are fearful about something, you are going to become very fearful at this point in time. It would be difficult for you to overcome that fear at this point in time. If you are angry, then it will be difficult for you to overcome that anger at this point in time. You would be in a state of hysteria at this point in time. You might see some uncontrollable events in your life, uncontrollable emotions in your life, uncontrollable excitement in your life. It would be difficult for you to remain grounded at this point in time, to understand the nuances of life at this point in time. You would be in a cuckoo land at this point in time. I mean a cloud cuckoo land at this point in time. I mean you would go further away from the realities of life. At this juncture, you'd get so excited with the worldly matters, your success, your money, your accomplishments that you will forget your existence, the reality of your life at this point in time. You know, when a car is going at a high speed, the driver is in a state of euphoria and he or she doesn't understand that an accident can happen when he or she is driving a car at a high speed. Similarly, at this point in time, you would be in a state of hysteria, in an uncontrolled state of emotion and excitement and hence you won't be able to understand what's going on in your life and there could be an accident in your life. I am not speaking literally but I am speaking metaphorically. I am not telling you all that you all will meet with an accident physically but you can have an accident in your life in terms of your relationship in terms of doing a certain thing which you might regret later. So you need to keep calm at this point in time. You need to settle down at this point in time. You need to maintain equanimity, calmness and serenity in your life at this juncture because the planet moon is gonna get affected at this point in time. You need to have some control over your mind and emotions at this point in time. You know, when you are in a panic state, when you are in a panic mode, you will tend to do things in a hurry and hurry makes things waste. So at this point in time, don't take a decision. Don't take a hurried decision. Wait for the correct moment to take a decision. Don't get swayed by other people. Don't get swayed by other people's perspectives and views about life. Don't get swayed by other people's opinions at this point in time about you. You need to maintain extreme tranquility at this point in time. You need to maintain your calmness at this point in time. And if you are forced to take a decision at this point in time, you need to force yourself not to take that. And that would be an intelligent move at that point in time. Well, sometimes not taking a decision is also a decision. So at this point in time, don't take any decisions of any sort. You need to meditate at this point in time. You need to meditate on your life at this point in time. You need to literally meditate and connect with God at this point in time and ask the help from God to help you not to go awry in your life at this point in time. 
any sort of hurry from your end might be critical for you, might be crucial for you in your life at this juncture. So during the lunar eclipse that is on the 5th and 6th of May and 15 days before and 15 days after the lunar eclipse, you are not supposed to take a decision or show your emotions on any person at this point in time. You could have emotional outbursts at this point in time, but make sure you don't reveal them in front of your near or dear ones, your relatives, your friends, your known people, your business people. Your true intentions about doing a certain thing should not be revealed at this point in time. I mean, you should keep a secret of the things which you want to do at this juncture or in the future when nobody wants to offend anybody at any point in time. So the right thing for you to do would be to stay calm, stay tranquil, stay in a serene state of mind at this point in time. You know, your mind is everything. If you control your mind, you control your life. You know, in this world, everything happens twice, once in your mind and once in reality. You know, the things which you see around you, first, those things were in the mind and then it became a reality. A mobile phone was first in somebody's mind, then it became a reality. A business was first in somebody's mind, then it became a reality. An airplane was in somebody's mind first and then it became a reality. So everything in this world germinates in your mind, is born in your mind. So you need to take extra care of your mind, your thoughts at this point in time. Because you don't want anything unpleasant brewing in your mind to become a reality of your life. Because any thought which is negative at this point in time will push you towards negativity in your life at this juncture. I mean during the lunar eclipse. I mean 15 days before as well as 15 days after the lunar eclipse. So this one month is gonna be critical and crucial for your life at this juncture. And if you listen to what I'm telling you to do, then you are gonna emerge a winner. You know, this mind, these thoughts in your mind can do anything. If you stay positive, positive things are gonna happen. If you stay negative, you will see negativity around you. So you need to think right at this point in time. You need to think positive at this point in time. Even if your circumstances and your environment is not allowing you to think right, you need to make a conscious decision to think right, to think positive at this point in time. You know, you can't control the thoughts which are coming into your mind, but you can definitely control the thoughts which you dwell on, which you think about, which you ponder. So whenever a thought is coming into your mind, you need to eradicate those negative thoughts and keep those positive thoughts in your mind, which will enable you to move forward in your life in a positive manner. And positivity creates brightness in your life. It will create something beautiful in your life. You know, you can experience adverse situations. Well, that happens to everybody. Well, how you handle those situations is up to you. The better you handle it, the better the chances of you succeeding in your life. We all know that we need to handle nights because it comes right after days. We need to handle sadness. It comes right after happiness. Recession follows progressions and progressions follows recessions. And if we understand this reality of life, then we will never be caught off guard in this life. Then no situation, no person will be able to disturb us emotionally, mentally and spiritually. So you need to focus on your mind at this point in time. And you need to remain positive at this point in time. You know, our lives are basically affected by the way we think things are, not the way they are. I repeat that our lives are basically affected by the way we think things are, not the way they are. So wherever you are in your life, you made an appointment to be there. 
your thoughts made an appointment to be there you know these thoughts which have brought you this far has created this life for you so if you want to change your life at this juncture you need to change your thoughts you need to move around with positive people people who encourage you don't discourage you roam around with people who are members of the encouragement club not members of the discouragement club discard the members of the discouragement club from your life at this juncture you know the reason why i'm telling you all to discard the members of the discouragement club in your life is because people rub off on you they will rub off on you in such a way they will also poison your life these people are already in a state of poison and if you roam around with them if you mingle with them they are going to spoil your life as well so you need to make a conscious deliberate and a determined effort to stay away from such people don't pick up their calls don't respond to their messages if you feel those people are negative for you if they don't understand you then why talk to them because only you understand what you want in your life don't try and put forward your views your perspective about life to such people who don't want to listen to you you need to talk to people who will encourage you who will push you towards greatness in your life you know the thinking which has brought you this far has created certain problems in your life that this thinking can't solve so in order to change the current status of your life the current environment in your life you need to change your thoughts at this point in time during the lunar eclipse you need to use your mental faculties in such a way that these mental faculties help you at this point in time you need to imagine the right things your perception about life should be positive your will to overcome things in your life should be at its peak your memory intuition and reasoning about life should be absolutely accurate at this point in time i tell you all that don't do anything at this point in time except your work don't do anything don't take a decision at this point in time don't get into a fight with anyone at this point in time you need to remain in control of your mind at this point in time and as soon as you see a situation a situation getting out of your hand you need to walk from that place where you are currently in the other thing which i want to tell you all that don't keep your keys to your happiness in someone else's pocket at this point in time you know this is your life you need to be happy you have every right to be happy and if you keep your keys to your happiness in someone else's pocket then you are not doing justice to your life so at this juncture you need to remain happy you need to do something in your life which makes you happy even if others are not liking what you are doing and if that thing makes you happy you should do that at this point in time but if you start working on your mental faculties that is your imagination perception will memory intuition and reasoning in your life then you will see a drastic change in your life and that is exactly what you have to do during the lunar eclipse i mean 15 days before and 15 days after the lunar eclipse and if you work on these mental faculties you are gonna improve your life exponentially you know we human beings are the only creatures on this planet earth that are disoriented in our environment we are those creatures confused and we don't know what to do where to go and we humans don't understand that we have higher faculties and an average person doesn't know how to use these mental faculties how to operate and develop these mental faculties i mean their perception their will their imagination their memory and intuition and if we use these mental faculties in the right manner we can control this world and we can create the environment we want well you must have heard of that expression that everything is in your mind so at this juncture when the lunar eclipse is taking place you need to 
Remember these words of mine that everything is in your mind. If you want, you can change your situation at this point in time by simply focusing on your mind, your thoughts. Don't vacillate in your ideas and plans at this point in time. If you had decided about a particular thing in your life before the lunar eclipse, before the solar eclipse, then you need to stay adamant about those ideas and plans in your life. Don't let anybody talk you out of those ideas and plans at this point in time. Don't let your negative thoughts talk you out of your situation at this point in time. I mean the situation which you believe in, which you want to do, which you want to achieve and accomplish in your life. You know, every one of us has a purpose on this planet. Every person on this planet has come to the planet Earth to fulfill a purpose. And you need to listen to your heart at this point in time. You need to play the music which is going in your heart, in your mind. You know, you don't want to listen to somebody else's music. You don't want to listen to a different drummer. You need to listen to that music which you were born with and make sure before you leave this planet Earth, you play that music in this world so that people recognize what you have done on this planet Earth when you were traveling through it. And that is how you make a mark on this world. Well, this is all I wanted to tell you all about the lunar eclipse. And if you want some specific predictions about yourself, then you may contact me directly. Well, like I always say, that if you wish to know your future through astrology and you are determined to live the best possible version of yourself, well, one must always try to live his or her best version of themselves because there is only one life to live. There are no duplicates of a life. You will never get a chance to live this beautiful life once again. And if you want to enhance your luck in your life, if you want to boost your luck in your life, if you want to increase and improve your luck in your life, then I want to tell you all, I have several remedies for you. You know, these remedies which I'm talking about are a fusion of astrological remedies, vastu remedies and religious remedies, which can be utilized by any person of any religion. Because I believe that there is only one God in this universe. And if you want me to pray for you, because prayer can move mountains. So if you want me to pray for your health, wealth, success, money, business, career, job, relationships, love relationships, marriage, married life, children, property, education, etc, etc, etc. Then also you may contact me. You may also contact me for a Vastu visit of your flat, office, residence or factory. Or you may order a Vastu instrument from me which can solve all your Vastu problems in one stroke. And if you are hell-bent on taking your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from the low point to the high point, from nothing to something, then you may contact me over WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number has been given on this video. Have a great day and a great life ahead. God bless y'all. Jai Matadi. Jai Ma Kali.